today we're going to read Captain Underpants, Part Two, starting on Chapter Three. Fun with science. Early that same morning, George and Harold were sitting in their ten fifteen a.m. science class, making silly noises. Meow. George meow meowed softly without moving his lips. Roar! Growled Harold without moving his mouth. There it is again! Exclaimed exclaimed their science teacher, Mister Fide. I distinctly heard a cat and dog in here. We didn't hear anything. The children said, trying to not not to laugh. I I must be hearing things again, Mister. If I worried, maybe you should leave and go see a doctor," said George with con concern. "I can't," said Mister Fide. "Today is the big day of the big volcano experiment." The children all groaned. Mister Fide's science experiment was usually the most idiotic, idiotic things on earth. They almost never worked, and they were and were always boring. But today's experiment was different. Mister Fide brought in a large, fake-looking volcano that he made out of paper, 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 mache, mache. He filled the volcano with with a box and ordinary baking soda. Baking soda is also called sodium bicarbonate," explained Mister Five. "Meow," um said Mister Five. "Did any of you children just hear um uh never mind?" <laughs> Mister Five opened a bottle of clear liquid. "Now watch what happens when I pour vinegar into the baking soda," he said. "Meow." The children watched as the tiny, tiny volcano started to rumble. Soon, a large gl glob of foamy scoop spur spurted spurted out the top onto the floor, creating a huge mess. Oops," said Mister Fire. "I guess I used too much baking soda." George and Harold were stunned. "How did you do that?" asked Harold. "Well," said Mister Fide, "the vinegar acts as a liberating agent, which releases the gaseous carbonate re radical element of the sodium bicarbonate." "Meow." Um. Uh. Mister Fide paused. Uh, excuse me, children. I've got to go and see a doctor. Mister Fight put on his coat and hurried out out the door. George studied the messy volcano experiment with great in interest. Interest. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, asked George? I'm. Th I think I'm thinking what you're thinking, said Harold. The chapter four. The setup. After school, the two boys raced to George's house and got down to business. George and Harold sat down and began creating a bogus bogus cupcake. Recipe. We'll just add a box of baking soda and a bottle of vinegar to this recipe," said George. And whenever, and whoever, and whoever make these cupcakes will get a big surprise. Let's add two boxes of baking. Soda and two bottles of vinegar. The recipe," said Harold. "That way they'll get an even bigger surprise. Good idea, last George. I like this book because 
It's really funny and silly. I like the character George. What about you? I like the character Harold. Bye. I hope you like this book.